Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about short printing as well as give you proof that this happened. So in infinite amounts of booster boxes, collectors, and set, and so on, I've only ever gotten one Shedrid, which is not too bad. I got two Lilianas and a bunch of Ley Lines, and I was wondering, so I don't keep every Mythic here, but I keep some of them, and at some point in time, Karn was actually not really that valuable, so I threw Karn in a trash can. Not in the trash can, but in like other packs. So I've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six. So more Karns, I got, I've gotten this. I got a lot of Jayas and a lot of Shivering Devastators and got playset of Javras, playset of Devastators. Oh, that's uh, for my next, my next video actually, which I'm gonna show you. No, actually, let's make it the same video. Like I've gotten, as you can probably tell, a ton of rifts and so on, but I've only gotten one Shedrid. So I've gotten more than, so I've almost done my playset collection. I've gotten four of every single card or more. Some Karn, I've gotten over 16 Karns. And there's videos of me opening like 10 packs, getting two Karns and, and not hitting. So I, you know, I finally got the Timeless Lotus. I basically have four of every, I've opened so many packs. I have four of every single card in the set, including the extended and, and all that stuff, except for, Shedrid, which I only got one, and Lily, I only got two. So it's uh, it's very baffling what is happening here. And let me show you another example. Probably this is a better example because in here, like it, it's harder to explain. They're not in all in the same prote protection. So I finally got my first ancient copper dragon. Right, I've gotten two gold dragons. I've gotten eight eight of these dragons. I've gotten four of these. Now, I don't actually know Displacer Kid and how many I got or Bang Battle Angels. And uh, I don't know. I've gotten a lot of this card. I didn't think it was valuable until recently. I played Baldur's Gate. So he's one of the main characters, right? With his go back, his goes back to hell. So I, I get it. You know, I I understand why Baldur's Gate is so expensive now because they, you, you, it's the same characters. And even Mints and Boo is a character in... Baldur's Gate 3. I think he was a character in Baldur's Gate 2 or 1. But yeah, I've actually never gotten a blue dragon. So out of all the product I've opened, and I've opened significant amounts of this product, set, collector, and regular, I mean, the distribution is either whack, I don't know what is going on, but the probabilities don't seem right to me. And I can, I can show you in other sets, like Midnight Hunt, I opened a lot of that, and it doesn't... Now, do they know, because Magic the Gathering is the, the player base, the, the research and development isn't like... I don't think that they know like which cards, but like Ancient Copper Dragon is obvious. Red, Dragon, Treasure, Treasure always goes up in price. So I think for Ancient Copper Dragon, it was pretty obvious that would be the chase hit and people would be looking for it. Uh, same with Shedrid. Shedrid's power level is just like another plane, right? And I kind of wonder whether or not they short print these cards, right? They short print the Ancient Copper Dragon, but they overprint, you know, these two. The, the Ancient Brass Dragon, which are, these two are the least two powerful dragons in my opinion. You can argue the Ancient Gold Dragon. I think the Blue Dragon is the second strongest dragon. And I haven't hit one of those. So it's either a distribution problem or it is another problem with maybe this is what they want to happen. So I've looked at how many Karns because I was looking at Shedra and I was like, huh, wonder how many Karns and Rifts and Jayas and I have eight, nine, ten of each of these Mythics, but I only have one Shedra, which is really weird, right? And I, I look at these dragons. The dragons are pretty much similar. I, I would assume that the chance of pulling one dragon is similar to other dragons. Like I, I, I did not pull. What, what is this? This is eight. So I played. Two, I pulled two play sets of ancient brass dragon before I pulled even one copper dragon. Like, what are the odds of that when there's five dragons, right? And I have enough of a sample size where I actually opened it on YouTube to kind of realize something is 
yeah, something is terribly wrong here in terms of like what I'm pulling. Shedrid is really rare. It should be more common than it is. Um, in um, in the other set, uh, well, it's not it's not Midnight Hunt. I'm trying to Crimson Vow. I'm trying to pull not for value, but but because I like it. It's like a Chandra in a wedding dress card, or like it was like really cool looking card. And I have not been able to pull it, you know. And and this same thing happened to me and Elspeth. Like Elspeth in the streets of New Campena, like I can't pull it for some reason. Like so, I, I'm wondering, you know, given and I, I've actually done this with Uninfinity with the the land and so on. I'm wondering, a is there a way that people can figure out if these cards are in there? Then that would explain it. These cards come from Walmart, and they typically are mystery boxes. So that kind of would explain, okay, somebody took all the copper dragons and they left all the brass dragons. I, I get that. Or is it a bigger issue with Wizard of Coast, right? Uh, and Wizard of Coast having an issue with actually um, the, their, the print sheet. So let's say it's a bunch of mythics and they have 10 or they have, this, let's say this is all in one print sheet. They have two of these, one of these. And again, I know this is not a good example because it's a this would probably be on a different print sheet maybe the copper dragon is very rare it's like one in a 10,000 mythics or one in a thousand mythics or one in whatever but it's not this supposed to, the same odds as the other cards so I would love to get hold of a print sheet and see if this is true to see if there is but I, I, I don't so there's two scenarios in my mind a people are taking the copper dragon from Walmart that happens a lot. I mean, I, I get it. You know, if there's a way to map out a box, but these are really, I, I just buy blisters. If there's a way to map it out where a card will appear right before it. So you kind of know if you get that card, you should buy the next booster or some, some other way to manipulate the Copper Dragon rates. Or is it a situation where there's simply not that many Copper Dragons to begin with? I think it is the situation where there's not that many copper dragons to begin with because I've opened boxes and so on. And I, you know, I've opened a ton of this stuff. Baldur's Gate is my favorite new set, like modern magic set. And it just doesn't give me copper dragons. And the same I can say about Shedrid, right? Like, my God, it's just like, uh, like what, what's going on here? Like, and Cedrid is overpowered. So these car, this is like super obvious. Cedrid is super obvious, right? She does a lot of damage. She get draws cards. See, um, whenever you draw a card, you gain two life. Whenever your opponent draws a card, they lose two life. Death touch four or five or four. That that's pretty broken. That's power crept beyond imagination for any standard card. It's a four or five or death touch or four. That's yeah. I, I mean, that's probably okay itself. Or even just the one ability where you draw a card to gain two life, that's not bad. Uh, but you know, your opponent draw a card to deal with two damage, that's shocking your opponent. That's a lot of damage coming down for certain decks. So anyway, I'm curious to see what you guys think. Uh, I've tested it myself. I know what I think. I think at the end of the day, you know, I've only had one copper dragon. I got eight of these ancient brass dragons. Something is statistically improbable. Anyway, hi guys.